Okay, this is um, cutting the newel post, an oak newel post, to the right height um, from from the store. This is too tall for uh, for the handrail. Um, what I did was um, I needed to know how much to cut off of this from the bottom, and you don't want it, you know, you don't want it looking different than the ones upstairs. So you kind of want it to be you want it to die into the same spot. Um, in this case, I marked the center line of this area, this height, which is five inches. So it's two and a half inches to the center to this point. I measured that height from the floor. Now this is again, this is as it is from the from the store. That height from the floor, after I plumbed it up, is 49 and a half inches. So that's a line that's sort of like my my datum, you know, the the reference line that if you work off of. Um, what what you want to do is figure out from your next now you want to figure out from your stair treads um, how high up you want your handrail, and that's usually between 34 and 38, or 36 and 38, depending on your area. Mine is 36 to 38 is the height of the handrail. So I measured up 36 inches from the from the face of the stair up to here. And there's a little faint line. You probably can't really see it, but it's 36 inches up. From the floor, which is here, up to that same mark is 43 inches. So you can see where I'm going. I can't just you know, put the handrail here. If I put, if I leave it as is, the handrail would die into this line, which is I want to die into this line, which is more natural, not down here. Unless you really want a tall post, but I want it to be. This is the reference line. So, if this is 36 or 43, depending on your reference point, 43 now from the same spot, which is the floor, up to this line, which is 49 and a half. The difference between that is what you need to cut off. So I cut off six and a half inches, and that's right there. Take it to the saw, chop that whole bad boy off, and now when you go up to the um, get my tape knife. Sorry, I don't know if you can see that, but. There we go. <laughs> the black line is the 36 inch mark. There you go, 36. So I, um, just by taking off now, what happened is this center line of this post, the handrail will, will die into it. Um, that 36 inches is will be the center line of the handrail. The handrail will have, you know, a certain dimension, higher or lower. As long as I'm within that range, I'm working off the center line. So, um, again, your height restrictions change by area. So, mine can go from 36 to 38. So, I have enough play up top to uh, allow it to move up and down. Uh, but if you have a different handrail style, you should probably take that whole dimension and make sure you're within that range so you're not going to be out of code. Anyway, now we're going to um, pre drill from both sides because I don't have a bit long enough to go all the way through. Lag bolts, lag bolts into there, and then set the post. And then I can cut the handrail to length, put the rosette, which is right there, on the wall, and then measure that angle and make sure it's going to die into this center point of this post next.